An eating revolution is sweeping the country with more Australians than ever ditching meat in favour of a plant-based diet. Some of our biggest sports stars are spruiking the benefits, but it comes with a warning from dietitians. They're two of the biggest stars in Australian sport. There's the breakthrough for Settle. Ben Brown! And they've moved away from meat. I think it's just trying to demystify it a little bit for everyone. It's not this crazy thing that a few people are doing. I wanted to be healthy and, and fit and, um, when I was playing, but also once I'm done, I want to be healthy, I want to be active. Australian cricketer Peter Siddle and North Melbourne forward Ben Brown say a plant-based diet has been life-changing. My recovery time, that's where I think I've benefited the most. Um, I haven't lost, lost any energy. I've been vegan for two seasons now and I, I think they've been two of my best seasons. They're not alone. New research shows a staggering 42% of Australians are eating less meat or no meat at all. I think it's a combination of social media influences, um, also concerns about the environment, as well as purported health concerns, particularly when it comes to red meat. Back then, it was like, why, what are you doing? It's, it's going to hurt your cricket career. The plant-based food industry is booming, now worth $150 million over the next 12 years. That's expected to grow to $3 billion. Guys have started to question um, that, you know, you're just getting everything you need just because you've got a hunk of meat on your plate, and it's not that simple. Six out of ten Australians have tried or are interested in trying plant-based meat products, the so-called mock meat. Right now, there are more than 100 different options on supermarket shelves. If you are going to follow a plant-based diet, you really need to be a lot more focused on the food that you're eating. You have to be a lot more careful. Jacqueline Felgate, 7 News.